Alright y'all, <clears throat> so I'm going to give y'all a tutorial on this video. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the basics analogy of this game. We're going to probably change the music because, yeah, the music is kind of eh. So anyway, um, this is called the Turbulent Seas. Uh, it's really cool. It's kind of like a Sea of Thieves. Really good game. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you the basics. So basically, <clears throat> a lot of people try to do the tutorial, and it, it's really kind of not finished. Uh, there's not a lot of information done. There's a lot of stuff missing, which the developer is going to finish. So you basically start the sloop. You have, I don't even know how to use this yet. I guess this is the furnace. And then you have a crafting table, which the crafting table, you can craft all these specific items. You also start with the ax and a pick. We're going to beat the music. We're going to play a little bit chiller music. And I'm going to do a little video for you all, okay? All right, so anyways, <clears throat> we're going to go up here. So the one thing you're going to do is you're going to want to build some cannons for your sloop because there's pirates that can play on this game. So for that, you're going to need iron and wood. So <clears throat> what I would suggest doing is um, you can mine for iron, but it takes too long. Here at uh, Volney, there's different places. There's Volney, Hardlow, there's Ares Land, there's different outposts. So the main three ports, Volney, Hardlow, and Ares Land. There's uh, Shipwrights, which is dry docks, you can build stuff. Well, let me turn this music down just a little bit. Okay. Anyway, so... <clears throat> see how it says purchase barrel of iron. You can buy iron, which mine says 48 gold. It won't be that much for y'all. Uh, when you're like a, a brand new level, it, it costs less. The progression you do as you go up increases. Now I'm on a private server, that way uh, I won't get interrupted during this video. So basically, you go over here. Now I have my sloop. You can click uh, Request Merchant, and it will put the little merchant guy on your ship. So click Buy Item, Iron, Select Resource. Done. So basically what I've done is I've made it to where the merchant will be on your ship. So you don't have to keep running the barrels or running back to the merchant man. You could just do it on your ship itself. Okay. <clears throat> now, one thing to be weary of, is, leery of, is pirates can steal cargo off your ship. So right now I'm the only one on here. But if there is pirates, they can come into port and steal cargo off of your uh, boat. Which I will show you uh, a little bit of here in a minute. So I went up and said purchase barrel of iron for such and such. I hit F. I bought this. Now if you look inside, there's iron inside this barrel. Okay. Now what I usually do is I'll take this and I'll take all of the iron out. Because for some reason it stacks it in one and then I'll put it back in. And where it does it in stacks of three. And then I'll usually, I'll usually get a couple. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to buy two. That's okay. So what I'm doing is I'm basically stacking the iron. Okay, so I'm going to be putting the max capacity allowed for such item in barrel. And people do this with cargo, hauling cargo. I don't, but that's how people make like a lot of money. All right, so we'll just pull you out. I'll just keep you on me. So this barrel right here. Now this right here, if you look, see how everything stacks to three, but there's one. It it does that. I don't know why it does that. That's just how uh, Roblox does its thing. So <clears throat> when you bring items in your ship, you notice there's this little dot below the barrel. Okay, so. White means it could place down. I could place it down. But you can't place stuff too close together. It doesn't work. So I'm going to show you with this empty barrel. I cannot place this right next door. If I place this right by where that red dot is, 
right here. See how it's just moving around? It's not welded as we call it. It's not welded to the ship. Meaning ultimately it will uh it'll despawn. So you have to watch the little dot below. When it's white, it's welded. It isn't going anywhere. See? Alright, so we're gonna take this with you. Um <clears throat> so we have some iron here on the boat. We're gonna leave that. It's always good to um let's see, we're gonna put you here. I was going to say something. I forgot what it was. Anywho, um, I would suggest all new players, if you try to work with people, don't try to do everything by yourself because a lot of people try to do that and then they get really confused on what to do. They're not really 100% sure. It's always good to play with a friend. It's always good to find like a, a faction or a company or whatever you want to call it because there's always people willing to help. Uh, when you go to chop wood, take an empty barrel. Um, even if you have to, buy a barrel of iron and deposit all the iron. Like, drop it all off and then take an empty barrel with you because wood will take up room. So we're going to go up here we're going to cut some of these trees. I'm going to show you how to craft a couple things. I'm going to get you, this is going to get you started to make some money. Because, see, I have 12,000 coins, but you start with like 500. And the sloop ship that you start with, it's a good ship nonetheless. But the only problem is, uh, it's it doesn't it's not really good for 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 long term. So you want to get the schooner, which is seven k. There's so there's three ships in the game. There's the starter sloop you start with, which is like a thousand if you need a replacement. Ooh, there's a mine. Let's uh, avoid that. There's the starter sloop. <clears throat> then there's the schooner, schooner, however you want to pronounce it, which is seven thousand. And then there's the brig, which I will show you all of them here shortly. The schooner is the fastest ship with four cannons. And then there is the uh, brig, which has six cannons. It's the biggest. And there's more ships on the way. All right, let's keep cut them trees, cut them trees, cut them tree, tree, trees. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, this game is quite a lot of fun. There is still quite a few bugs. It's only about six months in dev. So, uh, the mega of this game is really a lot of fun. But the tutorial is really lacking a lot. It just says go cut a tree and then you're done. So, I thought I'd make a very simple tutorial video to kind of show you some stuff to do to get you going. Uh, whether you want to become a merchant or switch sides and become a pirate. So, to be a pirate, you have to reach at least level three. Uh, which the best way to do that is do trade runs. Like, if you look here, I'm level 6, almost level 7, because I've done a bunch of trade runs and stuff on my ship. <clears throat> which I will show you more on that here momentarily. Alright, we'll cut just, uh, one more, I guess. Also, people usually say do the Volney hard low trade route. Don't do that no more. There's an easier way of doing it. Alright, then we'll cut a couple more trees. <clears throat> but yeah, this game is really a lot of fun. Um, I actually lead a faction which I enjoy playing with. Me and my friends, we do a trading company. There's already faction crews. There's like it's it's really cool how we've already got stuff going, and the game's only been public for a few days. So basically, you have to have a lot of wood and iron to make things like cannons, to make walls. You could build walls with your ship. You could do a lot of things people really don't know about. Like most people, they want to just craft. You know, okay, let's craft cannons and make my ship able to fend off which is fine and dandy but it's kind of hard to one man a ship <clears throat> that's my ship over there All right. let's go over here and cut a few more trees <clears throat> Alright. 
I'm just gonna come over here. So the reason why I'm cutting trees is some stuff like a wall, if I want to put a wall in my ship, it is 12 iron planks. 12 iron planks is uh, four logs, four trees. Because each tree will go to three wood planks, which I'll show you that here shortly. I don't know what copper is used for yet. I don't think it's used yet, but there is copper in this game. It's actually at Ares Land Port, so we'll just cut, a cut. We'll cut these trees and then. We'll, oh wait, wait, wait. Let me deposit some more. Deep, 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 and we'll just drop these in the barrel. Oh, barrel's full. Okay, so we'll just finish the last couple trees we can do, and then we're gonna head back to the ship. <clears throat> My goal is to show you how to make enough money to get you a ship. Now, I'm just kind of showing you the basic concept. Now, it may take you a little bit longer to do than me. What I would do is suggest partnering up with some people to work in a team. That way you could get it done faster. Or find someone who has a bigger ship. The bigger the ship, the more cargo they can run, the faster you can make money. The faster you can get a bigger ship, rinse and repeat. And it's always good to help other people out. Like, everyone's like, oh... You know, I'm too busy to help you. It's always good to help one another. And this seems like it's a bit of a grind, but it's really not. Like, it doesn't take just a few minutes to cut a few trees, to be honest. Alright. Let's go grab my barrel. I think it's this way. Yep. That's stand bar though. <laughs> I have to watch it because there's a mine shaft around here somewhere. Now you can mine for iron with the pick. You can actually take the pick and mine. I have not done it yet. Um, I don't see the need to because you could just buy the iron here. Uh, I do want to say be careful. Um, some of these spots right here. The ground doesn't quite meet very well, so so be careful. When, like jump one time, guys, you might fall in a hole. So jump. Always jump one time just to make sure you don't fall in a hole and have to reset. One cool thing is when you reset on here, you'll go back to your ship. A lot of people come from other uh, another game. And it'll spawn you like back at a port. And it doesn't work that way. Unless you're not on a ship. Alright, so we have iron on my sloop. And now I have wood on said sloop. Alright, so let's just... Oops, that was a major fail. Alright, let's put you down here. All right, we'll put wood here, and we'll put iron over here. All right. I think I need what I need. So we're going to open, and we're going to make a... So here is a crafting station. You can make chair, axe, lantern, musket ball, flint, my pistol, internal magazine. Internal magazine holds 250 cannonballs. Uh, table, standard round, which is the cannonballs, candle... Cannon, woodcutter, magazine holds 50 cannonballs, pickaxe, uh, bucket, there's doorway, wall, spyglass, crafting stitch, which this is, and barrel. Um, so, bucket. The one reason why you need to a bucket is, I don't know if you've played CTs, but people can damage your ship and you'll get holes in your ship, right? As you get holes in your ship, you'll start to take on water. You'll see water start coming in. You'll need to take wood panels and, plat and like put them up on your on your ship to fix and then take your bucket and take the bucket of water and then, you know, come up here and dump your bucket of water over. So it's there's a lot, there's quite a lot of work involved. So, I made a wood cutting station. You can use R and T to move around. One thing that's really cool is, okay, let's say I don't want this here. You can click this right here, and you can remove it. And I could put it there. Let's say I want it there. 
So you can always, like, move your stuff around. Which is really nice. Alright, so we're going to take this and we're going to load her up. For some reason you have to look away and look back. So one log equals three wood planks. So it's a one to three ratio. I love the rocking animation. The waves are phenomenal in this game. Very realistic. Like even sitting in port, you can see the rocking. All right, we're gonna just cut these up real quick. All right, so to make this short and sweet, I'm just gonna show you how to make one cannon real quick. So that's three, all right. So let's um, let's go. Where I think the storage is over here. I think I just need six. All right. All right. So I'm going to show you how just to do one cannon, but you you'll have to make two for the sleep. All right. So for that, I'll need some iron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll put one back. All right. You need twelve iron and six wood planks to make one cannon. Cannonballs are separate. You have to make the cannonball separately. All right. Now, you're like, okay, you have cannon. You can't put on your ship here. No problem. There's a dry dock for that. So I'm going to show you over here. Oh, I, I keep forgetting you can't always jump just from your ship to the dock. So you have to have your ship spawn to use the dry dock. So my sloop's just kind of chilling over here. So we're going to run over to the dry dock area. Now, uh, the dry dock, you may be a little weirded out because uh, not all the ships have the scaffolding. And the, the beams that hold up in place yet, so your ship may float. Uh, the developer, Raw the Egg, he's working on it. He's going to get this finished. It's just not done yet. So you run over here. If your ship spawn, you click this guy. You click use dry dock. Bada bing, bada boom. You got your sloopy over here. Pull your cannon out. Equip. We have El Cannoneer. We have cannon on sloop. Okay, so let's say I have both my cannons equipped and I'm done. Yeah, just hop off and go back here and tell the dude you're finished and then you're done. So you run back here. Okay, what's up, dude? Yeah, finish. All right, you're done. And there's dry docks in Ares Land and Horde Low as well. It's not just Volney. So, makes things a bit easier. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do a trade run. Okay, um, that way I'll kind of can get an idea of how to make money and to get the next ship, which I'll buy the next ship. I'll buy another one of. So first I'm going to show you my ships. Okay, so you start with the sloop. All right, so your starter sloop is this boat. It can carry up to two cannons, one on each side, one cannon each. It is a singular mast with a main square rigged and then a rear sail. I'm not exactly sure what that's called. You come down here, it's kind of a split level. And then you have a furnace and a crafting station. I built the wood cutting. It's kind of small, not a whole lot of room. It's your starter ship, okay? Then the next ship I would go to is the schooner, which is 7K and the fastest ship in the game. Right, so we're going to do, we're going to move. Thank goodness you can move these. All right, those are the brakes. I can't move it. I guess I'm not going to show you that one. I'll, I'll just have to wait until I buy it to show you. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and put you there. 
we're going to go ahead and run back over to this guy. And we're going to get the merchant. Then we don't have to run back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because usually on a full server, this stock is full of ships. Because this is the starting port. This is where most people come to. Right. Quest merchant. Buy item, iron, select resource. Done. Okay. Now we go to our ship. So I'm going to show you something cool. If you do this, if you reset your character, if you reset, it'll spawn you at your ship. It's one thing that's really, really cool about this game. All right. So if you look right here, you purchase barrel of iron. And you bring it down here. Put it there. So we're going to do this. We're going to move you over here. We're going to put you here. I'm going to do that. That way I know not mess with those. So basically you you bring the barrels down here and you kind of just so that's white. You have to place them outwards and uh place them a certain distance. And it, it, it could this is a small ship. So when loading the brig, it could take a good twenty minutes. Alright, so how there's one, see how there's like a space? Yeah, so you gotta space your barrels out. Alright, we're just gonna do this. Not everyone does the lines, people just try to kind of cluster them. I like doing the lines. To me, it's really not that big of a difference between them. I like to make my stuff look kind of nice and neat. That's not gonna work. That should be set. It is. Alright. So you spend some of your money, but then you make profit, basically. So what I'm doing is going to be called a trade run. Which my group is known for doing that because I'm a trading company. So I run the Dutch East India Company, which is based off of real life, the real life Dutch East India Company, which was, it wasn't so much a trading company. It was more like just a, a general monopoly company. But trading was a big thing they did. So we do like a lot of trade runs, but we fend off pirates and all that cool stuff. So it's it's really cool role play. Alright, so I'm gonna do this. Uh ah, nope, wrong one. I'm not gonna do a, a barrel on the back back. I'm gonna do one here. So I know not to hit those last two barrels. Because those are my materials. Or map barrels, as we call them. And yeah, there's a lot of room between barrels. There's really not a whole lot you can do. You could try to like crunch them together, which may work and it may not work. All right, so you're just gonna keep doing this. I could slap a couple more in here. Actually, this will be the last one, I think. All right, we're gonna go and just be done with that. So when you get everything loaded, my suggestion would be come to the sales and angle the sales first. So the sales are blowing this way. They're blowing to the starboard. So if the sales blow into the starboard, angle the, the back, angle the front of the sails towards the starboard. You always angle the front of the sail towards where the 
flag is blowing. So you do that. What I would do, and what's cool, oh, he doesn't have the free cam. There's supposed to be a free cam mode in here, but there's not. So here we go. We're leaving Volney and we're going to head to Aries Land. So when people started, they used to do the Volney to hard low, which was a 35 to 40 minute um, sale. It just took way too long. And you made good money though, but it just, no, it took way too long. And now we've started doing this new trade, which you don't make quite as much money, but it takes like a third to a fourth of the time. So we just go from Volney to Aries Land, and then from Aries Land to Volney, instead of from Volney to Hard Low. And you make good money. So because those barrels were, quote, welded, they're not going to go anywhere. They're safe down there. Now, if they wouldn't be welded, if they would have been, quote, welded to the floor, they would have rolled around and ultimately be spawned. So now we're just going to sail. We have our wind direction set. We have our sails set. We have our wind direction. So while I'm sailing, I'm just going to give you a little bit of advice. Uh, I would suggest try to find a friend or two to roll with. Don't try to sell alone. I mean, if you have to play alone, that's fine, but it's always good to play with a friend, get your crew going. Um, if someone offers help, take it. It's always good to have, um, to, to get help from people. It's always good to do that. Um, if someone offers to run trade runs, say, okay, yeah, I'll tag along, do it. Um, and do remember there is bugs in this game. Like for instance, the bit the one of my big biggest peeves the sails move but the rigging doesn't move yet so if you notice the rigging's just floating in the air um which is to be worked on all right so we're heading of we're heading to aries land right now we'll be there here in just a few minutes One thing that's really cool is the waves. So, another thing is, you need to get to the next ship as quick as possible because there are storms in this game, and the sloops don't handle them very well. The starship's not really made for them. Alright, we're just gonna keep on going. Yep, so, <clears throat> anyways, we're going to keep on uh, sailing here. Um, the one thing I really like is you can't just instant go to destinations. Like, you have to actually, it takes a little bit of time to get there, which is really cool. I love the cannons. The cannons are so cool. And I'll show you the other ships here. Uh, I'll show you the uh, other ship here shortly. Oh, that was a rough wave. 
That shouldn't have got water in my ship, though. No, we're all good. I also like, if you come down here, you can hear the muffled water, which sounds really, really cool. So supposedly this, you can um, add fuel or raw resource. I don't know what wood does. I know you can load like copper or iron, I guess to make ingots or something. I'm assuming. We're uh, about, we're, we're getting there. We still have a ways to go. The seas are a little bit rough. Let's adjust our course a little bit. Kind of wondering why the uh, seas are so rough on the sloop. So, I, I do want to say something. If you are doing this and you see what looks like water in your ship, do not panic. It's a texture thing. You're you're not you're not sinking. Um, it's a oh, 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 okay. I don't know why that's going on. I'm probably going way off course. Yes, I am way off course. I thought I was off the helm. All right. So when you go down, you'll see that what looks like it looks like there's water down here sometimes. It's a texture glitch with the waves. When you actually come down here, there's no water. So like don't be alarmed, don't be freaking out thinking your ship's sinking because it's not. We'll be at Aries Land soon. We'll drop off and then I'll show you how to buy a ship. And then that will conclude this tutorial video that we are making to help. Because once you know how to do that, it's basically just rinse and repeat from then on. And in crafting, okay, so um, let me show you something. While, while we're on our way, I'm going to show you how to craft some things. So. I don't have my crafting table out, do I? Uh, let's see. Alright, so... When you craft, you need several items. Like, for woodcutter, you need one log and one iron. So a log means you need to go cut one tree, okay? There's one tree log and one iron. There's um, candle, requires one wood plank. Um, magazines, three wood plank, one iron. Bucket is three wood plank, one iron. There's all different items that you could do. Barrel is three wood plank, one iron. Crafting station, if you want. So... Not every ship comes with a crafting station. Your starter sloop comes with one, but the others do not. So for every ship you make, you will need to craft a crafting station, okay? So what I would do is always have a couple of them put in storage. Um, so what you'll do is you'll basically take out your starter sloop. You'll go here, and you'll need six wood plank and one iron. And you'll make a crafting station, which is this right here. And then you'll put it in your hot bar. Which I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to make one right now. I'm going to show you what to do. Alright, so I need...
What's in here? Alright. Uh, let's put you back. That should be more than enough. Alright. As you see, we're coming up on Ares land, so we'll be there. We'll be at our port here in just a minute. So basically you do that, you set your materials down, and then you craft. And it gives you a little bitty crafting station. Alright, so we're going to go here. Right. Let me be sure we stay on this side. So... The port is right here, uh, right near the text part of the island. Alright, so we're just going to keep on going. I was planning on buying a second schooner anyway, so I'm weird. I'm going to have two schooners, and I already had two bricks. And the reason why is because... As leader of a faction, I'm going to have one of the breaks as my flagship. So it's going to have like um, a table with a bunch of chairs. It'll be like for all of our crew meetings and whatnot. Um, I got that actually from a pirate. Um, he had that idea and I really liked his idea. So I'm kind of copying his style. So I'll give him the credit for that. And then the other break I'm making will be purely for combat battle. Uh, one schooner will be for combat. It'll be strictly for guns and doing combat. And then... The other one will be for doing cargo. So it'll sacrifice having guns and ammo for having lots of room to run cargo runs. So that's why I'm running two of every ship. Alright, so I'm going to show you the other ships when I get here. And then I'm going to buy a ship and that will conclude the tutorial video. So we're almost at our destination here. So you can't see the port just yet, but it's right up here. Oops. Wrong button. Don't you love when you do that? So the port should come into view very shortly. I believe that's the port right there. All right, has wind changed? We'll still keep it angled. The sloop being a starter ship is pretty slow. So. Uh, once you get the schooner, you'll be set. You'll be good to go. Now, there's usually a bunch of people on. Like I'm in a pri I'm I'm in a private server just to do this to, sh to kind of have the room to show you. But there's usually a lot of people that play, so I'm like I'm gonna show you right now. If you look over here, there's different servers. Like um, there's different servers. Like you can play by yourself, and then you can play. There's 18 out of 50, so it's not just always by yourself. All right, we're almost at port. Port's right over here. I don't know why we're going so slow. I forgot. The ship's just not as fast as the schooner. I'm used to hauling the schooner, not the sloop.
Alright. <clears throat> so I've showed you how to basically you go cut trees. I've showed you how to get iron. I've showed you that you can craft things in your ship. Now I'm going to show you one of the cool things. So I'm going to give you a tip on how to pull into a port. Now, you can see the ports right up here. So what I usually do is I will try to lay in a direct or approximate alignment to the port. Now I usually have two sails. So what I'll do is I will adjust the sails. And I'll usually put them about halfway. All right. Oof, that water though. Why is the water being so... Oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. All right, let me see if I can make a bucket real quick. We're flooding. Oh, no. I didn't know this was going on. We may not make it to port. See, this is what happens when you're not paying attention. Nope, we're not going to make it to port. Oh, okay, so this is not supposed to happen in the video. Okay, this is the first time this has ever happened. Okay, it's okay not to panic because this is going to show another cool aspect of this game. So, all right, my ship just flooded and sunk, okay? I'm going to show you why this is good. A lot of people get triggered because, oh my gosh, my ship sunk. I lost all my cargo. No, you did not. It's still on your ship. Reset. All right, we're gonna just, we're just gonna wait until this finishes going down. I cannot believe that actually happened during this video. That's kind of funny in a way. <laughs> okay, so my ship has decided to uh, go chill at the bottom. So we're gonna reset and see if it puts me, it should put me here. All right, all right, oops. Ah. All right, we're just gonna swim over here. So what y'all just saw is something that has never happened to me before. So that's a first. <laughs> that's a first. Um, huh? Sorry, baby. I'll try to be more quiet. Sorry, my wife's asleep. Um, I guess the waves are just really rough. I didn't know they were this rough. So the cool thing is, my ship sunk, right? I, I lost all my cargo. Incorrect. That, that's not correct at all. So, my sloop is right here. And all my cargo is still aboard my ship. You're going to be like, how is that possible? Well, let me show you. Let me run in here and talk to a little merchant man. Request merchants. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay, so when your ship gets sunk, or if you get disconnected in the game, or if something happens, as long as your cargo is welded 
to the uh, bottom of the ship, you're good. You will not lose it. You will not lose it at all. Okay? So all that cargo I had, voila, she's still here. So, basically, you get you you get it and you pick up your barrel and you sell. So you basically rinse and repeat. Grab a barrel, run up here, uh, and you sell. All right, we're gonna do. I'm gonna move you. There. I don't like the sloop because those stairs are really annoying. Yeah, so what happened in the video, actually, I forgot about that part, so I'm kind of glad that happened because it was information to give you. So we're gonna, just going to keep selling these real quick. So there are three sh three types of ships in the game. There's the sloop, which is the starter ship you start with, which takes two cannons and it's one mass. There's the schooner, which is the second ship, which is 7,000, 7K, which is four. There's two and then another two cannons, which I'll show you shortly, which it's the fastest ship in the game. It's notoriously used by pirates because it's like one of the most maneuverable and fastest ships. Then there's the brig, which is six cannons and holds the most, but it's not quite as fast as the schooner, but it's a pretty big ship. Let me just do this real quick. So I had like, see, I'm already up to where I was before I started hauling this cargo. I've already made a profit. Because I was right under 13K when I bought the cargo and I'm still selling. Sloops, you don't make a whole lot. Oh. You don't really make a whole lot. But it. the other day, I could not spawn my new schooner ship. So I had to sell on my sloop. And I grinded for about five hours on my sloop, I think. And I made like 20k. But that was with dealing with pirates and dealing with... A bunch of issues at the time because there was a bunch of bugs that were fixed since then so a lot of resets had to happen now it runs so much smoother and I made enough money to buy a break and let's sell this last barrel all right so if you notice down here I have a crafting station All right, look, so I had 12,900. I now have 14,793. So I've made almost a 2K profit. All right, so we're gonna despawn this ship. And I'm gonna go buy a sloop. I mean, not buy a sloop. Alright, we're almost finished, y'all. Just give me a minute here. That's just music from inside there. Alright, so this is the dry dock at Ares Land. Volney has one, I guess Hardlow also has one as well. So you come over this guy. So the same with dark you buy ships. So you have the schooner. So this is your sloop, this is what you start with. Schooner is the next one. I would suggest save up for it and get it next. It's really good. And then there's the brig. So we're gonna do that. Let me just look here real quick. Let me see here. Um Okay. All right, so I named it that for, for role play purposes because I'm in a Dutch East India company, so I gave it a Dutch ship name. So I purchased a, another scooter, okay? So 
I'm down to 7.7k, which is fine. I can make the money back, no problem. So I just purchased the ship. So we're going to spawn said ship. So this is uh, first. I'm going to show you. I'm going to. I'm going to show you a brig. So this. This is the biggest ship in the game. This is the brig. This is the big boy. Now I don't have cannons on this one yet. But this is the biggest ship. It's so big that there's cargo. Now these walls and door I built. These, this, these three pieces I built. There's storage here. And then there's storage in the front. That's how big the ship is. It's good for cargo. So this is the brig. Very big ship. Two masts. Very large. Alright. Come on. Why you do this to me, game? Why? Come on. Come on now. I, I don't know why it's doing this. It won't let me up the ladder. It's being kind of stupid. There we go. Alright, anyways. So we just bought the schooner. Okay. We're going to spawn it. Which is the Cornelia. So you just bought your ship. Okay. Well, it's not going to have a crafting table. So you need to place a crafting table on it. At least I don't think it has one, if I remember correctly, it doesn't. So, the schooner is a twin mass and could take four cannons. So you have two and then two. And it has a below deck as well. And then you have a storage. So we're going to take a crafting table right here. And we're going to... Put it there. So now I can craft on this boat. So basically each boat you build after the sloop you have to make a crafting table, you have to make a wood cutting one like this. Each ship you have to build the things for. And then you can build the walls, you can place walls, you can do doors, uh, door frames. They don't have the actual doors in yet. but. There's a lot of things to do with building ships. Um, right now, there's no customization on the ships yet, but that will be very soon. Anywho, I really hope that uh, this video will help a lot of the new players. Uh, what you could do is just do trade runs, like so that that schooner and the brig you could haul a lot more cargo than the sloop. As you haul cargo and progress, the more the higher your level is, the more money you make. Just keep doing that. Play with friends and continue continue doing that and you'll do really well uh there'll be more ships added in the game there'll be more stuff added as the game progresses so anyways i hope that uh this video was fun and yeah i hope i'll be able to catch you next time so thank you very much for tuning in and i'll see you next time in the seas